Well, Paul, but Barry Trammell from the Oklahoma, uh, you made a lot of people in Oklahoma happy uh, this summer, uh, decided to stay. Can you take us back through the process of exactly when you started formulating in your mind, hey, this is a place I might want to stay, place I'm going to stay, just how that whole process went uh, during the season and after the season? Um, I think during the season, to start the season off, I was just open, um, very open about the situation. Um, and, you know, in order for me to do that, I had to, for me to give everything I had and, and for me to be committed, I had to be open about coming here. Um, otherwise, I would have been, you know, not giving the team every bit of effort or, you know, it, it just would have been something that I was holding back. So, um, you know, I just told myself to start the process off and just give, give this team everything I have and, and see what happens. And obviously, I've uh, developed some some good relationships with Russ, with um, Steven, with Dre, with Coach Donovan, Sam Presti, uh, Clay. You know, I, I just developed these really good relationships here, almost feeling like I've been here for a while. Um, and then just over the course of the, of the whole season, you know, it, it just steamrolled, just got better and better. And you know, here I am. Paul, what, what sense, if any, have you gotten of what it meant to this place for you? You know, you're an L.A. guy, for you to choose to stay here. What, what sense have you gotten just from the, what it means to the community? Well, I, I think me starting off in a small market um, helped uh, with, with filling what, you know, small markets bring yeah, as far as a community standpoint. Um, it was a great start to be in Indy for that feeling. Um, and then, you know, it, it, again, the city being behind this team, um, the team being behind the community, it, it was just hand in hand. Um, and then just being a part of this team, it, it just felt, felt right. Uh, Paul, I'm curious, as a player, what's it like when media and fans kind of hinge on words that players say when they're going through, a, you know, pretty much going into their uh, free agency? Like when last year you said year one a handful of times and it seemed like everybody was trying to read into that. I'm just curious, what is it like from your end? Um, I mean, it, 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 at the end of the day, um, it's our decision. So um, it can be frustrating when, you know, at the end of the day, we're the only ones that know what what it feels like or what decision we ultimately want to make. Um, but then, you know, you say one thing, and you know, one person put this story out, and, and now everybody is is taken to it. Um, when it came to my whole process, of course, I'm gonna be split. You know, that's that's. That's a part of life, um, being split between wanting to play back home or, or you know, playing in Oklahoma. You say one thing, I'm going to make this person mad. Say say something else, I'm going to make these people mad. So it's, it's at the end of the day, it's, it's we got to be happy with who we are, and we got to be happy with the decision we're going to make, because at the end of the day, it's only going to affect us, not um, the mass. So um, it was frustrating, but. You know, at the end of the day, is what our job, you know, is what we got to do with. Paul, to, to really, to play off that question, do you feel like, you know, for the first time in a few years, you're not really necessarily questioning your future, you don't have people kind of around you just waiting for something to slip? Do you feel like you can just come out and enjoy the game of basketball more than maybe you have been able to in a while? Yeah, I think so. I think for the past two or three years of my season, uh, there's always been you know, speculations or, you know, people decide what my future should be. Um, I know where I'm at and, and the world knows where I'm at. Um, so, yeah, in a way, in a sense, I can go back to just playing ball um, and enjoying the game. Paul, the, a message in the X interviews last year and this year was about the team being more consistent and talked about, you know, not building good habits during, you know, teams versus like the sub-500 sub teams. Uh, is that something the players have talked about, and what do you see as kind of being a solution for some of that? Well, I, I think um, it just goes with us being together for a year or two now. Um, you're going to have those nights where, you know, we're going to show how special and how brilliant we are as a team when we play against, you know, teams that we need to be locked in on. Now where you're going to see the chemistry and, and the consistency is, is from us being together for a year or two is, is now being able to do that against, you know, the sub-500 teams. Um, I just think we worked through a lot in one year, and people expected us to be, you know, a lot further along. Um, but honestly, you know, that's the reason why I'm here for year two. I knew it, it wasn't going to be something that happened you know, 
in one one year being with this group. So um, you got to build certain habits, um, and, and that's the habits we're we're hoping that we build is that consistent. Jacob Toby, Channel Two, Tulsa. We everyone saw that video of the party at Russ's house over the summer when you made that decision. What was the feeling like when you Russ let it? Yeah, when when you let it know, <laughs> let it be known that you know you were coming back and going to be here for a while. What was the party like? Yeah. <laughs> Who was there? Who was there at that party? Anybody here was there at that party? What was it like? <laughs> you gotta ask them. You gotta ask everybody else at that party. The party was was amazing. You missed out if you wasn't at that party. I wasn't invited. <laughs> Y'all station won't get get the the good deeds on that on that night. Uh, you became kind of an advocate for Jeremy Grant uh, during the course of this season. What do you see in him, and what was so important to you about him for wanting him to come back? Um, JG is 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 one of those special players. I think uh, that you need on a team to make a team special. Um, every team needs that one guy that can do a little bit of everything, and, and JG is that guy. Um, you know. He can, you can plug JG in, in at, at any spot, and um, he's going to come out with some special plays for us. So um, it's great for us to be able to play fast and play quick, um, defensively to be able to, to, to just fly across that whole court um, and, and protect the basket, um, as well as run the floor and play in the transition game. So, um, you know, it's, it's, he's a special, special kind of player. I, I definitely, you know, was vouching and, and was pulling for him to come back here. Paul, was there anything surprising in the way that things played out with Carmelo to you? Um, no, I mean, it, it, it played out, you know, how it, how it was supposed to, I guess. Um, you know, I, we miss Melo here as, as a teammate, as a brother. Um, but, you know, if, if something doesn't work, it doesn't work. You know, it's, it's, it's nothing that he did. It's nothing that um, the organiz organization did, nothing that the coaches did. You know, if something doesn't work, it just doesn't work. And, and that's fine. We've got to be able to move on from that. And, um, you know, he's in a better situation for him. And um, we got to move on and, and get prepared as a team. Got last question in the back here. Hey, Paul, um, Kawhi Leonard is coming up on a similar situation as this season as you had last season. Um, has he reached out to you, or do you have any anything that you can offer to him maybe as he goes through this process uh, this year? Uh, I actually, me and Kawhi are pretty close. Um, actually, during the summer, we hung out and, and kind of talked and got together a little bit. Um, and, and, and we did talk a little bit on that, but um, at the end of the day, just told him just be open. You know, we both Southern Cal guys, and you know, we we both wanted to come home and play home, play for the city. Um, but obviously, you know, my situation came up, and I was happy with it. Um, just told him to be open about it. You know, be open about the situation, uh, and, and just give wherever he goes. You know, at that time, we didn't know where he was going. Just told him give wherever you're going, give him your everything, and um, you know, decide from there. Thanks, Paul.